we got uh, the floor here in the house, which is cool. Uh, all the way up. You're um, slapping in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. talking just for a second there. You were on stage in 1986. <laughs> so we were both mid-1980 guys on stage. Mm -hmm. And we're still here doing it and having fun. Can you tell me the trick? <laughs> I'm still trying to work that out myself. <laughs> the trick is doing it from 86 to now. Consistency. Year after year, day after day. There's no easy way. There's no secret. There's no, you know, just busting your ass every day. And, Apart from busting your eyes, you just have to love it. You have to enjoy doing what you're doing, you know. Some people do it for the wrong reasons, whether to impress their friends or to get the likes on the internet and shit like that. But, you know, there's in your blood, you love training, you love training, and if you love doing something, it just, you don't even think about it, you just go do it and enjoy it. So that's what I've always found. You and I started, you were, you were 13 first on stage, uh -huh. I was 14 on stage, and we started so young. Is it just a different... We started so young and we loved it at such a young age that it just stayed with us because I hate the word consistent. Yeah. For you and me, we love it. Yeah. But why, do, why, do, why does society shun it? Why would they go, no, 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 it's not, this isn't consistency. You're not consistency. Mm -hmm. But it is. Yeah. Why, why is it? I don't know. I think the internet has a lot to do with it too. It's like, if you love doing something, you do it. If it's not a chore to you, you just go out and have fun doing it. That's all I'm saying. Back when I started too, reading the magazines and the books, are just like, okay, you want to lift heavy. That's all I need to lift heavy. Eat like a pig. Put all this food in, lift heavy. Train. And sadly, like when I got up to the grow ranks, drugs come in a little bit. And even then, in my mind, it was the training and everything else. The drugs were the last thing. I was like, okay, when you get that level, I need to use them once I got into the professionals. But I was definitely one of those people where, you know, I train with somebody, sometimes I'd say, let's go heavy. And I'd be like, no, I can't go heavy. I'm like, why not? Like, oh, I'm not on anything. I'm like, I said, if you think that way, I said, <laughs> Oh my God, I love like, you said that. I'd be like, I said, if you think that you can't train without the drugs, I said, you never will. I said, if that's your mindset, then you're going to be fucked from day one. I said, I've always gone to the gym, loved the training, and all my best lifts when I squatted 775 pounds and that sort of stuff, I was clean. So I said, I used the drugs mainly for me, but I the project was to keep hold of my mask when I was doing two to three hours of cardio a day, training twice a day, just to keep the going, just to help me recovery. Off season, you'll see me off season, I just ate like a pig. I was not, never on anything, just ate like a McDonald's, this and that, and really fat and heavy, just pushed the heavy weight. So to me now, sadly, the young kids, it's all about the cart before the horse. It's drug. I've been young so the list is like, everybody goes, drugs, drugs yeah. and then whatever else down yeah. here. So we're, and we're, then maybe training. And then all that. So it's crazy. So there's no foundation work anymore. It's like I started at age 13 training. I'd won everything. No, in Australia. no, you still got on stage at 13. That means you started at 9, 10? No, about 12 ish. 12, okay, in a year. Yeah, so yeah, so it was like I got on stage after eight months of training. And then, like, from the age of 13 to 19, I won everything in Australia. Three times missed to Australia. And that was all clean. And I've got to keep going clean. It would have been great. But of course, at 19, 20, I turned pro. People say, well, why do you take drugs in if you're so good genetics? I said, well, you know, I've got great genetics, and then I've got great genetics, and then they've got great genetics, and they're you know, using a little bit. I can have all the best genetics in the world, but now if I'm not using it, so sadly I had to go that route. But if I, if I was never competing in the pros, then I wouldn't take them, because I was I look good without them, but sadly I doesn't understand now. You look good with it. You look great without them. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> come on now. So I don't understand. If you're not going to make a living from the sport, why do people abuse them that much and take them? Like I said, just for an instant, they're going to photo or impress their mates. Yeah. So I'm like, you're not making a living from it, just stay healthy. But you know, you can do them healthy. You know, that's a Half and half, you know, I think you're doing healthy, but I always try to get my blood work done, heart checked every year. But you never know, so I wouldn't run the risk if I thought I wouldn't be worried about it. Or just enjoy training. But sadly, now every young kid, when anything comes online before, it's always, when I, when, even when it first came out, it was always, what do you eat? How do you train? Everything now. This, what do you take? What do you take? You put up a nice photo of someone, your first comment. Trend. Yes, that, 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 drugs, drugs, drugs. The whole mind just consumed with drugs, and, and that's what you think. Well, how many? To let live with me for eight months, 
you know, I hung out with all of them, and I think Paul and I probably spoke about drugs once, because to me it was never a topic I was interested in. I didn't care what anyone was thinking, what anyone was doing. To me, I don't understand it to this day, why these young kids want to know what he's thinking, what he's thinking. It doesn't matter what they're thinking. What they're thinking has nothing to do with you. It's not going to help you grow. It's not going to help you. I said, I don't see why they're so obsessed by it. So you can get blue in the face talking about it online to these people, but they always think there's going to be a secret they want to know. And now, so many new videos coming out, documentaries of guys talking about their drugs. So the young kids are like, oh, this is great. This is fantastic. They're telling the truth. It's like, I've been telling the truth for years, but I talk about the amounts I use, being 400 milligrams of test. You're fucking lying, man. I said, you know, I've got 10,000 milligrams. I'll tell you, so I don't give a shit if you know what I take. But I said, more is not better. And then they always think, you know, young kid, I was in England not long ago, and the young kid over there taking 5,000 milligrams of test a week. I'm like, what the fuck do you call that shit? You don't need it. But yet, in their mind, if their first cycle is 1,000 milligrams, the next cycle is 1,200, the next cycle is 1,500. I said, you're just going more and more and more. I said, it's ridiculous. So, it's just sad that it's going that way. It's that people are so obsessed on the drug side and not the training, the eating, the resting, the foundation of it all. So. I, I don't need to say anything on this. This is gold. And, and, and we've never, ever, in, in the years we've known each other, since the early 90s, uh, what year did you get here? Uh, 92. 92, okay, so so I knew you'd seen this before you got here. Um, but uh, number one, you love training. Yeah. That's number one. That's number one. But you love training for you, exactly. not for a girl, not, not, not for to show off. Mm -hmm. You love the yeah. battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Yeah. So my grandfather got me into it, my grandfather was always into training and wrestling in the army, so just one of those things where I just loved it. I have those days, I tell people in wintertime, get ready for a contest. I could have a lot older than my grandfather, so it'd be a rainy, cold morning. I'm like, fucking yes, no cardio this morning. And at 4.30, we knock on my window, we'd be out there on the push bike. I'm like, fucking old <laughs> So I'm like, he can't show me up, so I've got to get out there. So I've always just loved doing it. Like, if I go on holidays somewhere, I always tell myself, you know what, I'm not going to train while I'm on holidays. I last about two days and I'm looking for a gym or start doing something, because I just enjoy it. It just makes me feel better when I do it first thing in the morning. And I don't know, it's just a good thing to do, so. And I know he's wearing black, but if you can't see this awesome physique right now, and he's been like this since, <laughs> since the beginning, and we're two guys that have been doing this for so long, and I and love before, And before um, people comment, this was two days in Vegas in the hot sun. Like but he pressure. won. He won in Vegas. <laughs> I told him to put some money down. Every, no. every time I get sun's burnt, I'm people like, he's got high blood pressure. Uh, I'm like, oh. <laughs> the insulin. Great scene, man. Great scene, you too. Great scene, bro.